In today's lesson, we're going to talk about how to factor algebraic expressions that contain rational exponents. So we have this expression, 6x to the 4 thirds minus 12x to the 2 thirds minus 9 times x raised to the 1 third. How can we factor this expression? What we need to do is take out the greatest common factor, which is going to be the smallest portion of these three terms. So the greatest common factor of 6, 12, and 9 is going to be 3. 3 is the largest number that goes into 6, 12, and 9. Now, what is the greatest common factor of these three variables? It's going to be the one with the lowest exponent. So out of x to the 4 thirds, 2 thirds, and 1 third, it's going to be 1 third. And 1 third can go into each of those exponents. So our GCF, or greatest common factor, will be 3x to the 1 third. Now, to get the first term, we need to divide this term by that term. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now, what is x to the 4 thirds divided by x to the 1 third? When you're dividing common bases, you need to subtract the exponents. So it's 4 over 3 minus 1 over 3, which is 3 over 3. And 3 over 3 is 1, so this is simply 2x. Now for the next term, we have negative 12 divided by positive 3, so that's going to be negative 4. x to the 2 thirds divided by x to the 1 third, we need to subtract the exponents, so it's going to be 2 over 3 minus 1 over 3, which will be 1 third. Next, we have negative 9 divided by 3, and that is negative 3. x to the 1 third divided by x to the 1 third. 1 third minus 1 third is 0, so they cancel. We just get negative 3. Therefore, this is going to be our answer. So that's how we could factor this algebraic expression that contains rational exponents. Now, let's try a similar example. So let's say we have 8 x raised to the 4 fifths minus 6 x raised to the 2 fifths minus 12 times x raised to the negative 1 over 5. Feel free to pause the video and factor this expression. So what is the greatest common factor of 8, 6, and 12? This is going to be 2. 2 is the highest number that we can pull out of 8, 6, and 12. Now what is the GCF of these three variables? It's going to be the one with the lowest exponent, and the lowest exponent is not 2 over 5, but it's negative 1 over 5. So our GCF is 2x to the negative 1 over 5. Now 8 divided by 2 that's going to be 4. And then x to the 4 fifths divided by x to the negative 1 fifth. So this one I'm going to write it out. As we divide these two, we need to subtract the exponents. So it's going to be the top exponent minus the bottom exponent. Now we have two negative signs, so a negative times a negative will be a positive. 4 plus 1 will give us 5, so this is 5 over 5 which reduces to 1. So this simply comes out to be 4x. Now for the next one, we have negative 6 divided by 2, which is negative 3. And then x to the 2 fifths divided by x to the negative 1 fifth. So we have 2 over 5 minus the bottom exponent of negative 1 over 5. So we need to add these numbers. This becomes 3 over 5. So it's negative 3x to the 3 over 5. For the next term, we have negative 12 divided by 2. So that's going to be negative 6. And these two will cancel, so it's simply just negative 6. Therefore, this is going to be the answer for our second example. By the way, for those of you who want related video content, feel free to check out the links in the description section below. If you click on this button here, more, 
you'll see I have other videos relating to factor in trinomials, polynomials, and even quadratic equations. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. Now let's move on to our third example. So we have 45 times x to the negative 2 thirds minus 5 times x to the 4 thirds. How can we factor this expression? If you want to try this example, feel free to pause the video and go ahead and work on it. So we can take out a 5 from 45 and 5. And the smaller of these two terms will be x to the negative 2 thirds. So our GCF is going to be 5x to the negative 2 thirds. 45 divided by 5 is 9. And if we divide these two by each other, they will cancel. So the first term is simply 9. Negative 5 divided by 5, that's going to be negative 1. So we could just write negative x. And then 4 thirds minus negative 2 thirds. So this one I'm going to write out. If we divide x to the 4 thirds by x to the negative 2 thirds, we need to subtract the top exponent, 4 over 3, minus the bottom exponent, negative 2 thirds. The two negative signs will cancel, so this becomes 4 over 3 plus 2 over 3, which is 6 over 3, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we simply get x squared. Now what we have here is a difference of perfect squares. And if you recall, a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b times a plus b, whereas a is the square root of a squared and b is the square root of b squared. The square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of x squared is x. One of them will be negative, the other will be positive. So that's how we can factor this expression. Now for our next example, we're going to have 8 times 2x plus 3. And this is going to be raised to the 7 over 9, the 7 over 9 power, and then minus 4 times 2x plus 3. And this will be raised to the 2 over 9th power. Go ahead and factor that algebraic expression. So the GCF between 8 and 4 will be 4. And then we could factor out a 2x plus 3 because that's a common term and we'll pick we'll have to pick the lower of the two exponents which is 2 over 9. Now 8 divided by 4 that's 2 7 over 9 minus 2 over 9 that's 5 over 9 so this will be 2x plus 3 raised to the 5 over 9 power negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1 and these two terms will cancel when we divide them so we're just going to get negative 1. Therefore this is the answer. Now let's work on one more example. So let's say we have 15 times 3x plus 1 and this is going to be raised to the negative 2 over 5, and then plus 35 times 3x plus 1, and this is going to be raised to the 3 over 5, and then minus 45 times 3x plus 1, which will be raised to the negative 4 over 5 power. Now let's begin. The GCF between 15, 35, and 45, we can clearly see that it's going to be 5. 5 is the highest number that can go into all of those numbers. And we have a common term here, 3x plus 1. So we're going to factor that out. As for the exponent, we're going to pick the lower of all three values. The lowest value is negative 4 over 5. So now let's divide. 15 divided by 5 is 3. And then to divide these two terms, we need to subtract the exponents. 
So we're going to take the top exponent, subtract it by the bottom exponent. Negative 2 over 5 minus negative 4 over 5. These two negatives will become positive, so we have negative 2 over 5 plus 4 over 5. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2, so it's simply 2 over 5. So we have 3 times 3x plus 1 raised to the positive 2 over 5 power. Next, we have 35 divided by 5. That's going to be positive 7. And then subtracting these two exponents. We're going to have 3 over 5 minus negative 4 over 5, which will be 7 over 5. Next, we have negative 45 divided by 5, and that's negative 9, and these two terms will cancel. So we just get negative 9. Therefore, this is going to be the answer. Now, we could leave the answer like that if we want to. Or we could take this term and move it to the bottom, making the negative exponent positive. Let's go ahead and do that for this example. So we're going to have this 5 is going to stay on top because it has a positive exponent. So we're going to have 5 times 3 times 3x three plus 1 raised to the 2 fifths plus 7 times 3x plus 1 raised to the not I mean raised to the 7 over 5th power minus 9 and all of this will be divided by three x plus one raised to the four over five power. So if you want to get rid of all the negative exponents, this is what you can do. By the way, for the other problem, two problems ago, where I had this answer, it's important to understand that we can represent that answer like this. So we could say it's five to, whoops, so 5 times 3 minus x times 3 plus x divided by x to the 2 thirds. Or if we want to get rid of the fractional exponent, we could turn it to a radical and write it as the cube root of x squared. So there's many ways in which we could represent the answer. So that's basically it for this video. Now you know how to factor algebraic expressions with rational exponents.